Hey friends, you may have heard the old wives tale about black eyed peas signifying coins and being lucky. I know I would love to get some new coins this new year, but I am getting tired of eating black eyed peas the same old boring way every January. Well today, I'm gonna show you three new and inventive ways to eat black eyed peas and you won't even recognize them by the time we're done. First off, I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple black eyed pea hummus. Black eyed peas are a legume, they're a bean, just like chickpeas. So, you use chickpeas for hummus, you can also use black eyed peas. This is about a can, drained and rinsed garlic. Let's see, what should we add next? Let's add our cumin. So tahini is always found in hummus. Lemon juice. I'm just gonna add a little bit right now and we'll add it more to taste once I've blurred it all together. And some olive oil. It's gonna look really thick and kind of pasty. I'm not gonna add all this water, just about a tablespoon at a time. This right here is about what we want. Taste that. I actually don't think it needs any more lemon. Done on the first go, never happens. Sprinkle in a little bit of salt. Voila! We've got our black eyed pea hummus. I'm gonna put it in a bowl, drizzle it with some olive oil and sprinkle it with some paprika and eat it. That's really good. I kinda think I liked it better than chickpeas. The last dish, super easy. This dish, simple, but a little bit more involved. We are gonna make a Jamaican black eyed pea curry. Heat on, kind of a high sided skillet, put a little bit of oil. Now let's add our onion. So this is gonna cook down with some garlic, not to full caramelized state, but just for a few minutes, just to soften it up. You don't wanna stir this constantly, just you know, every once in a while. We are about where we wanna be. These are nice and soft. Curry powder is just a mix of spices. We are using Madras curry powder for this. And we're adding a little extra black pepper too. We are adding thyme sprigs to our dish since thyme is an ingredient in the Jamaican curry powder that is missing in the Madras curry powder. This step is toasting the spices, kind of awakening them, blooming them, if you will. Doesn't have to be for very long, maybe just about a minute. So now we're gonna add our potatoes. A pretty hefty pinch of salt. Potatoes love salt and we'll stir it together. And now we're gonna add our black eyed peas and water. The water is going to cook our potatoes. And we're gonna partially cover it and let the potatoes cook for about 15 minutes. We will not have to mess with this at all. Okay, let's check on the status of our potatoes. We want them to be pretty fork tender at this point. We do still have some liquid in here, but we're gonna add coconut milk to kind of enrich it. We want this to be saucy. It's a curry. It's looking really tasty right now, but we're gonna let it simmer for about 15 more minutes. But this time we're gonna do it uncovered. We want more evaporation to allow for thickening and glazing. This would be a great time for you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Okay, here we are. So we've got a potato here, let's see. Yeah, look at that, that is nice. Not gonna add all of it. I also kinda like it how it is. Do my little curry dance. Now we're gonna put it in our bowls and top it with cilantro. Our third and final black eyed pea recipe will be black eyed pea fritters. Kind of like hush puppies, but we're using black eyed peas instead of corn. Two cans worth of black eyed peas, and we're gonna add our onion to this and then pulse it to kind of make a paste. We don't wanna add any liquid to this. We want it to be relatively dry. Now add cilantro, mint, and baking soda. Sprinkle that in there, tear some mint. And we're gonna do the same with some cilantro. Salt that baby. Mm, I like it. Lastly, we're going to pulse in a little bit of cornmeal. That will help our fritters set up so they don't disintegrate in our oil. Let's go ahead and fry those babies up. Looky there, 
Here are our black eyed pea fritters or our black eyed puppies if you prefer. These are going to be served with a really delicious spicy Cajun mayo and you're gonna love it. Well guys, I'm gonna chow down. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any other favorite lucky foods that you like to eat on New Year's, please let me know in the comments below. Here's to a happy, healthy, and lucky 2020.